What's good? It's Kev here with KevWestBeats.com. Today I want to talk about battery versus machine. In this example, I'm going to use battery 4 and machine 1.8. I'm going to be running machine standalone with battery in it as a VST. And you see battery 4 here, you see machine. Um, the reason I'm doing this, I am a form addict and I think everybody knows that I go on Future Producers and Gear Sluts and KVR and a few, a few other um, popular forums. And I see this question a lot, battery versus machine. And the truth is these guys are so different. Um, and I just wanted to talk about that. And I think the best way to, first of all, because I'm talking talk about battery or machine first. The best thing to see about machine is it's almost like a DAW. Like it's not a DAW by any means or association of the word. But what I mean by that is it's its own creative, Ooh, excuse me, the hiccups. It's its own creative standalone tool. So you see the browser here. I can pull up any con any of my native instruments. Instruments. Um, these are all NI presets from instruments. Um, I can go into now. I have all my sam one shot samples. Um, I can go into different effects. I can open up different VSTs. You see here I'm in battery now. There's all my battery presets. And there's battery three, battery four. You know, and that's really what machine is about as far as when it comes to loading sounds. But also it's an incredible sampler. You see the sample page here. Battery doesn't do any of this. It really focuses on being a great sampler. And then on top of that, you have your four modules. So you can do different effects and you can really focus on creating music and sequencing, you know, bringing up different presets and, you know, creating music fast in an awesome workflow. And this especially is great for somebody who comes from an MPC background or any other kind of um, drum machine sampler, an SP-1200. I even go as far as, even though it's not a um, drum machine, an ASR-10. It's a sampling keyboard. It's in the same vein as all of this. That's what machine does really well. Now, when we talk about battery, battery isn't a sequencer, it's not a sampler. I mean, it is into the extent that it loads samples, but and it has, but you see here, it's really about its kits. You can load different samples here, and it's really laid out like a keyboard. Like each row here is an octave. And then you have you have your 12 keys just like you would in an octave. And then you have four octaves, like it would be a 49 key keyboard. And it's really designed with the keyboard player in mind. And it's also a great sound design tool. So you can automate different parameters in here for the different effects. There are a lot um, of effects going on in here, a lot of different routing and modulation possibilities that you can do in machine as well, but it's not as seamless. You know, and again, um, battery is really mouse heavy. It's really mouse oriented. It's really meant for you to take, okay, say I want to layer four kick drums. I can layer four kick drums across here, across these first four pads on A. So say one, two, three, four. I'm not going to do it. I'm just giving an example. And just have those be the kicks. Um, send those to the same um, key range. I can do that with pad groups in machine too. But again, because you have eight groups in machine with 16 pads, um, depending on how you work, you, you're going to have a group for kicks, a group for snares, hats. If that's your thing, that's your thing. That's not my thing. I like to play, you know, kick, snare at the same time while I'm recording. So that doesn't necessarily work for my workflow. I When I use both of them, I mean, and they both have their own um, unique sound libraries on top of that too. Like there are, uh, the sounds and battery aren't in machine and vice versa. Um, and you know, they're, 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 they're so different that, you know, a lot of people say I should get either or. I really think you should get use both. Like there are times where I would just use battery. There are times where I would just use machine. There are a lot of times where I would use machine or battery inside of machine, which is kind of my chosen workflow. There are things that you just can't do in battery that you can do easily with machine, like tap tempo or you know, note repeat. Um, if I were to go into keyboard on keyboard mode or on 
battery or a machine. I just hold this pad here and I'm doing the eighth note, note repeat through battery instrument. I can't do that with just battery. I'd have to have a machine for that. And at the same time, let me pull this back up, pull battery back. And at the same time, yeah, I have each of these effects in machine, but I can't use them all at once. I can only use four slots of effects. And like 16, 32, so you have 64 pads here, and then you have 12, 24, 36, 40, 40, um, nine keys here, or 24, 48 keys, excuse me. <clears throat> and you have that there. So like, they're just, they're really, really different. And, and it's hard to describe it unless you actually like see it feature for feature, and that's what I'm trying to kind of show you guys more of the feature differences versus uh, without getting too deep into it because there's just so much to machine as a complete standalone product machine is about the hands-on workflow of beat making and sequencing and doing all of that here and then importing it into a DAW which is what I think machine does best battery is really meant for okay I don't want to work anywhere else I want to stay say, I, say I'm using logic and I don't want to have to go out and buy a $600 controller I don't care about the hands-on workflow I'm only using it for drums you know something a workflow like that a battery is great but if you miss that NPC style workflow that's where a machine really thrives in my opinion if you really want something that's really dedicated to sampling that's really a dedicated drum machine um, and I say if you're coming from an NPC background or something like that MV8000, ASR10, SP1200 machine will fill that void for you in the software world where nothing else really does um, I've also seen it, I know I even used it before I bought it used to make the comparisons to Kong and Reason because I really like Kong and even Kong is different because Kong is really its own thing yeah it can do some of the stuff with samples that machine can do but it doesn't do it as quickly, it doesn't do it as easily, um, it's not as smooth, um, but I really do like the drum synths that come with um, Kong that both machine and battery can't do. You know, they very much load the sample and add some effects, layer them or whatever. You know, so anyway, that's just kind of my thoughts on it. Um, if you guys want to add some more to it, please do in the comments below. Um, please, of course, rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out um, a couple of my other videos right here, down here below in the bottom of the video. And thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Check out KevWestBeats.com.